Hi guys, I'm Shahzad and uh, welcome in Coding Nighter 4. Today we're gonna discuss about how can you use your select where, where in, where not in using Coding Nighter 4. Now I'm going to come in all the code so you can easily get the code. Now I'm saying that I have this class and I have this one and also I have this query builder okay okay now if I say query builder and now I am saying that select and here I am saying SID and now I am saying builder again I am saying get and uh, this is the query or if I say it's a result and if I say var dump and I pass this variable here and I say please show me result as an object go to the page refresh the page it's giving you 4 if I say db last query and I echo this bad boy Go to the page, refresh the page, as you can see it's generating the query. Okay, now I'm saying echo, break the row, go to the page, refresh the page, and uh, I'm using the two break rows. Okay, now as you can see, this is the query, this is the result, and this is the query, and it's generating this query. Select SID from students. If I use the where class here, builder, where, it takes two parameters, one is the key, second is the value, I am saying where SID equals to 3 or 2, I am saying 3, fresh the page, so now as you can see it is saying where SID equals to 2, 3, okay, now if you use another where class, where method here and you are saying where s name alex alex what happens it will add the end and then the value refresh the page as you can see it's adding the end and the value make sure this is the query and the result is zero because we have the three records and at the three records we don't have the Alex so it's a Maria so if I say that where Maria go to the page refresh the page it will give you the one record make sure we are just fetching a single column so that's why it's giving you the single column if you fetch more than one column use the comma and then you are another column as name Go to the page, refresh the page, as you can see it's now retrieving two columns and it's also adding the two, two columns here. Now if I say sh, go to the page, refresh the page, as you can see now it's showing you three columns and it's adding the three columns here and this is the where clause. So this is the where clause. Okay, if you use the or make sure if you use where and where it will automatically add the end sign if you use the or how can you use that or suppose uh, if you use the or here or here so how can you do that I'm saying that I'm going to comment this bad boy now I'm saying where ID equals to 3 or where so as you can see this is the all where class it takes two parameter first is key second is value i'm saying where sid make sure now i'm saying 100 as you can see 100 is not available in the database i'm talking about id so now go to the page refresh the page it will give you the one result because this record is available in the database but it's not available in the database we are using R, so that's why we are retrieving 
the one result or one tuple so it's generating this query and make sure this is the or record you can use as many as or records as you want if you use another as i'm saying 200 go to the page refresh the page so as you can see it's now adding the or here and 300 you can also change the column name i'm saying s name s name something like uh, john alex it's not available in the database go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's saying it adding r and it's changing the column this is the generated result or sorry generated queries and this is the result set and this is the query you are writing okay if you want this is very useful i'm going to comment this one so you can easily get the code okay now you can pass the associative array here like how like this one associative array sid sid equals to 2 go to the page refresh the page it's working fine if you use another key another value here where s name it will add you the end sign s name equals to alex go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's adding the end sign okay so you can pass as many as you can create as many as associative array or as many as keys and values as you want so it's totally depend upon you now this is a second scenario you have we have third scenario for suppose if you need the less than and greater than sign in the where clause now i'm saying sid greater than one so you can also specify like this go to the page refresh the page as you can see it's giving you three result because you are saying where sid greater than one so you have one two three records which is greater than one so that's why it's giving you three record if you if i'm saying less than equals to, not equals to one so it will automatically give you the three records if i say equals to one so i don't know it will give you uh, okay because it's illegal okay now because if you are using the key and pair value it's automatically giving you this functionality equality okay so it's totally depend upon you how you manage your database and uh, this is the third scenario if you have query like this i am saying to where it's a variable it's a simple variable it's a weird now i'm saying sid equals to one if i pass this variable to where method go to the page refresh the page it's now working fine so as you can see you can pass as many as parameters as you want i'm saying and uh, s name equals to shake z now save the file go to the page refresh the page as you can see it's giving you zero results because you have one id and at the one id you don't have the shake z record so this is the fourth scenario you can uh, we have a lot of scenarios but for now uh, it's enough okay now you have you know very well that where you know very well that you can use the select method you can use the get method you can use the get where method or you can use the or where now if i use where in what happens i'm saying builder where n it takes one parameters as a array array i'm saying uh 
xz john and xyz it's not available in the second parameters sorry you can tell the key of the i'm saying s name find these values in this call so go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's finding two records john and shakesy and it's generating this query select s id s name age from students where s name in shakesy john and x y z so it's totally depend upon you how you are using you can also use the or where for suppose i'm saying builder or where in same as specify your column i'm saying s name equals to maria and also xyz and also abc so go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's giving you some results why because shigzi and john available in the database and also maria also available in the database so that's why it's giving you the three records so verify it maria john and shigzi okay so it's now creating this query so you have where class na name in and it's also adding the or because you are adding or wherein method if you use or where not in so what happens i'm going to comment this one so you can easily get the code now i'm saying builder where not in it takes same parameters one is the key s name i'm saying john now i'm saying abc here i'm saying alex and column semicolon go to the page refresh the page now as you can see it's giving you two records because this and this if i use these names refresh the page as you can see is it's giving you four records i am saying show me the records where not in not in means it's generating this query i am saying not in so alex john so as you can see it's not giving you the alex or john record this is also not available in the bed it's giving you the shexy and it's giving you the maria okay it's not giving you the john and alex you can also use uh query builder where not or where not in specify your column it takes uh, two parameter one is the key and second is the array so i'm saying s name not a x b and y go to the page refresh the page so now you can see it's giving you the four records and in this time it's adding the or and it's not adding not in so it's totally depend upon you and your requirement so in this way you can use uh, the select where where in or where not in by using the coding letter for so i hope guys you are enjoying our series and also the videos if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you never miss any update and please guys do share our courses and also the videos on social networks so thank you for watching